Um, thank you very much. I appreciate this opportunity. Um, I'm a physician by training. I've uh, went into the study of kidney disease very early on in my career, and I've been associated with kidney disease since the late 50s. And um, it's been a, a source of great interest to me because so much has mattered has happened in that time, starting with dialysis on a large scale, and then um, shortly afterwards uh, that began. Shortly after that began a kidney transplant, and both have been very rewarding because the uh, the elements of these two methods of treatment um, improve the case, the care of people very, or at least the position and health of people to a large extent. So it's been a very satisfying uh, career in terms of, of uh, what I've seen as effects of the therapies. Well, the dice has been one of the great uh, satisfactions of my life, actually, uh, to be associated with its use. Uh, it started as uh, um, a person, people uh, who were using um, we're using hundreds of these devices together to, uh, to um, clarify and disinfect sewage in uh, Israel. The man who was doing this is Joram Lass from the Tel Aviv University, and the technology was, was developed by uh, Mino Negrin, who's a, who owns a company that manufactures the, these devices. So it struck us when, when talking to him that if you can sterilize and purify sewage water, um, you can purify the water that, uh, that, is, that is already polluted by various factors in small villages that have no power, therefore they couldn't drive a machine of any kind, and they have uh, uh, no sanitation. So we just began and uh, looked into the matter of, of villages of that kind and uh, have started to, to utilize a, a device which uh, has several dialyzers in them. And the dialyzers are worthy of comment because the, the filter di di uh, filters used are actually previously used, once used, hemodialyzers. And these hemodialyzers are made of a substance called polysulfone. And the idea was that we would check and see uh, how small the um, size of the pores were in the polysulfone in order to know how selective the uh, device was in terms of, of uh, r r uh, not permitting something of the size of bacteria or viruses to get into the water that was being sterilized. Well, much to our happiness and satisfaction, it turns out that the pore size of this device is uh, uh, 0 0.03 microns, uh, 3 nanomo nanometers, and there's, even the smallest virus cannot pass through the pores of this device, which means that the polluted water goes through these hundreds of, of hollow fibers, and these hollow fibers are permeable to water. So water, the, water itself goes through the, the pores in the hollow fibers and is collected. And the uh, viruses and bacteria stay in the hollow tubes and then go to, they're just uh, thrown away. The, that water is just thrown away that contains the viruses and bacteria. So it's a remarkable thing. And uh, it's a great uh, idea by Mr. N uh, Mino Negrin and we just took advantage of it uh, and applied it to the various approaches and, uh, and Gone has been uh, extremely um, hospitable to us and our technique and our aim is to, to provide as many devices as possible. Um, Mr. Mino Negrin retains the, the patent and uh, he sells the device to, to us and we, now a charitable organization called Easy Water for Everyone, provides the, um, the device at no charge, of course. And we have a wonderful group of people who've worked with us. And um, 
their names should be all recorded and, and I'll try and think of them as we go away. away. Go, go on. So that's the story in a nutshell. It's, uh, it's given us a lot of satisfaction, but more important than that, the results have been startling. And we have a, a good paper in the literature from one of our colleagues. We've formed a board of, of people, of nephrologists mainly, and, um, and we have found that um, there's complete exclusion of, of bacteria and viruses. And um, the problem that we are solving, or helping to solve, I should say, we're not solving it completely, is the fact that children don't have as much diarrhea as, uh, as they used to. And while diarrhea sounds, and you know, everything sort of thinks of it rather as a, as a nuisance, it actually is a very important cause of death in young children. And they die because they lose a lot of fluid, the blood pressure falls, they go into kidney failure, and they die. So we've, uh, we've found that uh, there's an improvement of over 70% in the incidence of diarrhea in the, in the facilities and the places we have worked in, uh, in Ghana.